arithmetic sequence plus geometric sequence. An interesting problem from the 2022 AMT 10A. A four-term sequence is formed by adding each term of a four-term arithmetic sequence of positive integers to the corresponding term of a four-term geometric sequence of positive integers. The first three terms of the resulting four-term sequence are 57, 60, and 91. What is the fourth term in the sequence? Let's say that our arithmetic sequence is a, a plus d, and a plus 2d. And let's say our geometric sequence, let's say that's b, br, and br squared, right? Because they have a common ratio and common difference. So what we're given is that when we add each of these terms together, they give 57, 60, 91. Hmm. So like one way to solve this is to construct a system of equations, but th that will have four variables actually. And when it has four variables, but through only two equations, it's, it's not easy to solve or three equations, it's not easy to solve. The main condition here is it's a Diophantine equation. I covered this in one of my previous videos, how to solve Diophantine equations. The main trick in Diophantine equations is the integer condition. And we have to somehow figure out how to use that. So the, the main logic here is that a geometric sequence, well, look here in this geometric sequence over here. Well, an arithmetic sequence has the common difference of, of course, D. The common difference is D. For the geometric sequence, while the first term has a common difference of br minus b, and the second term has a common difference of br squared minus br. So it, it kind of seems like the common difference between the first and the second term is almost the common difference between the second and third term. It's just a little bit different, right? Let's see what this means. So the first common difference, d, plus br minus b is 3. 57 to 60, that's the common difference of 3. Then we have d plus br squared minus br is the common difference from here to here, 31. So then what we're going to do is subtract the first equation from the second equation, because that way we're canceling out the d's. So let's do that. Second equation minus first equation gives us br squared minus br minus br minus b is 31 minus 3, 28. Or br squared minus 2br plus b is 28. Oh, all three of these terms have b in them. So b times r squared minus 2r plus 1 is 28. And r squared minus 2r plus 1 is just r minus 1 squared. But the main thing here is that it's a sequence of positive integers. And a sequence of positive integers must have the first term, well, must obviously be a positive integer. And the common ratio must also be a positive integer. Because if it was a fraction, then it wouldn't necessarily work. It wouldn't necessarily satisfy the geometric sequence of positive integers. So now let's just consider the factors of 28. 28 is 2 times 7 squared, or 2 squared times 7. So r minus 1 squared, it's a square fact, it's a square number, and it's a factor of 2 squared times 7. So, well, what are the only square factors of 28? One, of course, is an obvious option but the other one is two squared. That's the only square factor because no other prime has more than one exponent in the prime factorization. So just one and two squared. Let's see what happens if r minus one squared is one. If this is the case, then we have that r minus one equals one or negative one, but it's a positive integer, so it has to be one. So that means r equals 2. Now the second case, 
r minus 1 squared equals 2 squared. In this case, we have r minus 1 equals 2, so r equals 3. Okay, that's cool. Let's move away. So those are our two cases, r equals 3 and r equals 2. Okay, so how do we deal with that? Well, now we essentially have two cases to try, and it shouldn't be too hard to solve from here. Okay, so 57, 60, 91. 57, 60, 91, and this will be, let's take the first case. B, let's use this guy. B, B, R, or B, 2B, and 4B. Or directly, it might be easier just to plug it in here, actually. So if R equals 2, then this equation becomes D plus 2B minus B is 3, or B plus D equals 3. And the second equation here becomes, for R equals 2 case, D plus 4B minus B equals 31, or D plus 3B is 31. So that means 2B is this minus this, 28, B, 14, D, negative 11. Okay. That's one case. And the other case right here, R equals 3. Oh, but look here. Common difference, starting term 14, difference negative 11. The second case is if we have R equals 3. We have D plus 3B minus B, which is D plus 2B is 3. And D plus 9B minus 3B is 31. Or D plus 6B is 31. And this means that 4B is 31 minus 3, which is 28. Or B equals 7. And in this case, B equal to 7. B is equal to 7, but D is negative 11. Okay. And we, of course, have r equals 3 in this case. So in the first case, in the first case, we have b is 14 and r is 2. So the geometric sequence is 14, 28, 56. And the arithmetic sequence, well, for the first term to sum to 57, the first term must be 43. So 43, 32, and, and then the next term will be 32 minus 11, 21. Okay, the first term is 57, right? That's how we use to derive the first term of the arithmetic sequence, because we know that's 57, it's a total sum. The second term sums to 60, so that's a check mark. But the third term, that sums to 77, not 91. So this case doesn't work. Okay, the second case we have r equals 3, b equals 7. So the geometric sequence is 7, 21, 63. Remember that uh, B is the first term of the geometric sequence. Okay, and the arithmetic sequence will then be, well, the difference, common difference is negative 11. The first term is 57. Remember, the sequence is the sum of the arith and geometric ones. So the first term of the arithmetic sequence must be 50, and the common difference is negative 11, so 39, then 28. If we sum all these, 57, 60, and then 91. Aha! That's the exact sequence we're looking for. Now let's find the fourth term, and we can do that pretty easily. The fourth term of the geometric sequence is 3 times 63, 189. The fourth term of the arithmetic sequence, 28 minus 11, 17. We sum this up, we get 206. 206 E is our final answer. Also, now let's check out this cool 3D Geo problem. You can find the solution over there.